I've lived for 17 years now, all of which have been experienced in the presence of my father. Any chance I've had to cause damage to something, I've usually done so. How I've recovered and gained from each subpar performance hasn't been a major result for my own doings, but rather the unconditional love and support my father's always given to me. This, I believe, is the most important and prosperous way to live, as my father's ways have grown on me and shaped the person I am today. I was a young specimen with a mind like silly putty. Anything and everything was a new trial of guess and check for me. I had an unhealthy, you could say, obsession to play baseball relative to my overall skill and talent. My dad never dropped the ball. I, on the other hand, did frequently, but always found myself picking it back up with the support of my dad. I wanted to bat, but my dad was gone at work. So I adventured around my premises and discovered a roof that would work just as good as him. The bat clinched to my left hand, the ball on my right. I launched the worn baseball on top of my roof. Unfortunately, I dealt a massive blow to my parents' office window. I felt a gravitational shift in the universe. I ran up into the office and saw one problem. No fix. I hid and sobbed in hopes that everything would go away, but nothing did. My dad came home from work, strolled casually to his room, and on the way there, got sidetracked by the scatters of glass throughout the office and hallway. I heard his wrathful shout erupt and hurried up to him in attempts to rid my name from the execution list. Then it was as if that same gravitational shift in the universe occurred again, and my dad was now hugging me, squeezing me with every muscle in his body in hopes to override the sadness and depression overwhelming me. He took me away from the sight and sat me down in his room, not once speaking of my catastrophe. My dad focused on one thing, and that was the unconditional love, support, and want to better my life, regardless of what I've done or who I am. I thought I was going to endure a, you've disappointed me speech, or a, you're grounded speech in spanking, but I didn't. I only experienced a great deal of love and understanding from my dad, as he said he experienced from his mom. I thought I got lucky because I'd never broken a window before but I found out I got lucky because of the amazing dad I have. This broken window event, though nothing on the scale of outrageous or uncommon, changed the way I look at people and their actions and how I conduct myself as a student, citizen, and family member. People respond better and are truer to reassurance and support rather than a constant barrage of fear and oppression.